10 o'clock Feeding for the guap I be beaming Hey guys, it's Amanda, what's up? Today we have a very exciting vlog I spoke about this vlog in my last vlog <laughs> How many times can a bitch say vlog? This video is going to be me bringing you guys along While I shoot my last project for art direction class Which is a four page spread editorial My magazine that I'm drawing inspiration from For all of my textual elements, graphics, layouts Basically the entire editorial spread is fruits magazine i get tons of outfit inspiration from this magazine so i've got four looks i'm shooting two today two tomorrow i'm shooting my best friend anna she's about to come over to my house in like 20 minutes we're gonna get her ready and then go to the location i have my brother assisting this shoot today we're gonna see how much i really need him normally for a shoot you should have at least like two to three people minimum just to look out for issues with the garments also if you're dealing with props and stuff it makes it a lot easier to get the shoot done um, with people assisting. Just because of the nature of the shoot, it's street style, it's supposed to be very candid, it's not really, it's not a studio shoot at all, there's not really any props. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna need my brother and he has shit to do, so we're gonna see about that. But I am gonna get him to film some footage for this vlog, it's like the main reason he's going. <laughs> but I'm super excited, I've been planning this shoot for probably the past two weeks and we're finally ready. I'm really excited to bring you along. I love sharing school projects with you. It's really fun for me to even look back and see the process that I kind of go through when planning and then executing these things because it just happens so fast. And to be able to look back is really cool. So I just styled every single outfit for this shoot. Um, they're organized by look, obviously. I have a ton of purses that's going with all of these looks basically because sustainability is the guiding principle of this shoot and I'm using thrifting, specifically shoulder bags and overconsumption as my kind of main theme for this shoot. So all of these have a ton of different bags paired with them. This is definitely not all of them. My model, Anna, is gonna be using some of her own bags as well. This is the first look. It's gonna be actually a seated facing backwards. I'm probably gonna have her wear this tank top backwards so the light blue is facing the camera. This look is gonna have her hair up with bobbles. And then this look is gonna be a seated pose where she has a lollipop in her mouth. She's gonna be doing this bag and then a really soft other pastel guest bag. This dress is gorgeous, I just thrifted this. She's gonna have tons of bobby pins in her hair. This is personally one of my favorite looks. This look is actually probably one of my favorites. <laughs> I love every single one of these looks, guys, because it's all my clothes and I'm gonna wear every single one. So this look is, I thrifted this black skirt pretty recently. It's amazing, it's a maxi skirt. And then I have a Jones New York little white um, collared tank. With this, just to add some more texture, I'm doing this bedazzled denim hat. I'm doing this guest denim bag. And then I'm keeping it pretty neutral with the other bags just doing black and white ones. The last look is gonna be her in a handstand. So I'm less concerned about the front because her back is gonna be facing the camera. So we're doing these Levi's jeans that are low-waisted. I chose these because they're not as flared. And I'm gonna be dangling a ton of bags from her legs, so I didn't want anything to get in the way or distract from that. And then this little long sleeve, which again, she's gonna be facing the back, so I don't really care that it has this brand logo. And when she's in a handstand, her shirt's gonna lift up and then the back of this will show, which will be really cute because it's an exact match. My process of deciding on looks really just involves me memorizing my wardrobe. And then I'll just write um, in my notes app whenever I'm out anywhere, I'll just like brainstorm some looks. I'm really excited. And I just sent them all off to Anna so she can kind of get a vibe of what she'll be wearing. I chose these two looks today purely based on the fact that they both have the same hairstyle, so it doesn't involve having to change up the hair on location. I do have to somehow either iron or steam this dress really quickly, and then I have to lint roll this skirt, so I'm gonna do that literally right now. And I have charged up all my camera batteries overnight. Just gonna double check, they're all full. Okay, I'm gonna charge that one up. I have two extra batteries I always bring. These are tomorrow's looks. For the dress look, we are using lollipops as the only prop in this entire shoe, to be honest. I couldn't pick a color, so I got four plus a ring pop just to try that out as well. I'll insert a photo of the hair inspiration. I had to buy some bobby pins. I have like the blonde bobby pins, so I had to buy some new ones and I got three back. I 
What I see and what I hear And from the sound of things I'm the man among my peers, yeah Buddy, I wasn't recording for fucking so long I thought I was recording Yeah uh. They thought I wouldn't make it, but I'm here God help me, I didn't overcame all my fears Big ear, nigga, go off what I see and what I hear And from the sound of things I'm the man among my peers, look Focus, not disturbed on my drizzy shit Turn my phone on, do not disturb when I'm busiest God my only judge, I know who the jury is Y'all beat around the bush like George, so now I'm curious Of who was really fucking with me I'ma do a hater, the love it start to feel like 50 Many men, wishing death but they can't touch the boy I'm Brandon Roy with the last shot, his like my name was Troy Palomalu or Troy Bolton this here a musical Back in high school Apples to apples Isaac Newton flow I'm done with Ivy League But been trying to avoid the cubicle Too much like a cell Can't be boxed in like the usual Another cage bourbon mute So let this dove sing Where I'm from it never get dull They let that drum ring From the winter to the summer Shit get dumber City need new pipe But my niggas totin' like plumbers They wildin' And I never thought I'd make it here Or my classmates on yachts And I got off a beer Wherever I went ain't gon' lie That shit was kinda weird But I'm grateful that God Let me overcome my fear Of being dead and gone by 21 like T.I.P Being put over guns Drawn asking the C.I.D. Description fitter Talking to me So we're about to do an outfit change We are done the first look That was like uh -huh. dumb fast yeah. I didn't bring clips for what? In case this is too big on you. I think it looks... Worst case scenario, we can do this look with a jacket. <laughs> Tom's <laughs> dream job is not a videographer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, can you come over here and you roll this on? Are you even looking at I was checking the weather. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, there we go. Okay, cool. Let's see. Turn around. Definitely could have ironed that, for fuck's sakes. And then... I don't know if the bra is necessary. No? I think it is. Day that our family ain't pouring, we close. They thought I wouldn't make it, but I'm here. God help me, I didn't overcame all my fears. Big ear, nigga, go off what I see and what I hear. And from the sound of things, I'm the man among my peers, yeah. And then I think the shoes are fine because I'm used longer than older than me. I would wear it with all these bags, to be honest. They thought I wouldn't make it, but I'm here. God help me, I done overcame all my fears. Big head nigga, go off what I see and what I hear. And from the sound of things, I'm the man among my peers, yeah. My head's so messed up, but I can't fold in no fear Got sight set right up on these bands, and I'm gon' use the wipe tears Five years to stick into the plans I made when I was a J Told moms I can't go live no normal life, won't stop till I'm rich Said where were you when I was down bad, and the money coming to me so fast Left the whole she a big dub, straight forward with it, I don't go back Everybody living better, I still remember times when them broke down I did not just come up, I gotta get a bag for the fam now But I got nobody to lean on, got a cold heart in a cold world Ever since you left, I don't know what's next, I ain't found closure I keep a knife in my chest just to cut holes off, I don't know them Leaving a bitch in the past, I gotta go now, it's over Left me out here grieving Shit on that up, baby, I'ma get even It's a cold world, baby, and I'm just getting heated so I'm the only one I ever really needed I gotta find a way out of this fucking position I stay with a gang and don't stress by no bitches I took all my pain and I put it in records They turn up the speaker, I turn into riches When I'm alone, the past come at a homie So I feel like turning that boy to a cast But when I'm off whiskey, I feel like myself And I'll turn that bitch so cause it really don't matter I got my mind on my money Paranoid, they all look at me funny Stressed out, so my liver stay muddy Pipe down, you won't take nothing from me uh, Good morning guys it's day two of this shoot really excited for today yesterday went amazingly i'm not even joking as soon as we showed up at the general location we found exactly what i imagined we found a fruit market which 
I didn't even think of, but it was literally the best location to shoot. We found a wall that was the perfect shade of green, literally just like, this is, I've never experienced just so many good locations like after one another and I did not plan it. I bought this ring yesterday. How fucking cute is this bitch? Like, I'm obsessed with it. But anyways, um, today we're doing two looks. It's gonna be super fast because one of them is basically a product shot close up of the bags. So it's really not gonna be a whole day's event, which is great because yesterday, honestly it wasn't that long, but we ended up just kind of hanging out for most of the day and I didn't get any work done, which is fine, but like I need to get on my shit today, you know? And Anna should be here in about 15 minutes. I got ready because I'm gonna take some pics when I'm out because I'm really making an effort to post my outfits on Instagram because the amount of times I wear a cute outfit that I'm like, oh, I should have posted that and I just forget and then I don't wear the outfit again or I forget about it and whatever. So follow me on my fucking Instagram, Nani Maka. Follow me, boo. I love you. Okay. I did take some vlog clips in some stores in Kensington that we went to and I got a shirt and like, I don't know if you guys are literally gonna judge me so much. I don't even know how I feel about this purchase. I am really, really weird about buying things. Like when I tell you something has to be absolutely like for me to buy it, I'm not joking. There's so many things that I'm like, it has potential, it's cute, and I just don't buy it. Like, there's no, like, I don't need it. You know what I mean? I saw this shirt and I was like, I actually really fuck with this shirt. It's vintage, so the material of it is just so soft. It's the perfect fit, it's not too tight. I just love the color of it. Like, this is probably my most flattering color, and I own no royal blue shirts, so I was like, <clears throat> I'm getting it. Also, we're probably going into another lockdown, so all I really wear is loungewear like this. So I got it, and I love it, but it was $35. I think my coffee is kicking in, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna go iron some shit. Also, if you guys saw my last vlog, I picked up this keychain, and I actually just added it onto my purse, which I think is actually to fucking die for. My expectations are completely blown for how these photos have turned out so far. Both looks yesterday were just amazing. Like, seeing your vision come to life, especially when it's... It's never that clear. Like when I've done my shoots in the past, I know what I want, but it's not always like crystal clear, which I think is the best way to be because then you don't say no to anything. Like when anyone has an idea, I'm like, let's try it, let's do it, let's whatever. And you kind of work from there, which really brings everyone's ideas to life. And it just is amazing. And that's why I love working with equally creative people because everyone can put in their input and just improve um, the whole shoot. Another fire location in the books. Included in today, right? Yeah, and that one you didn't. 
because it's just so, I just want it as like a big point of that one. Under that one, under that one, where you have it on your under it. So you have to take it off. I, could also I like this, leg I like cool. this first, yes, but this looks great this with this angle. So Anna's gonna be attempting a handstand. <laughs> also, I'm just saying, I think I want you to face the other way so that your butt is facing me, remember, because I want the bra out. So your head is like this way, other way. So face me, and then you'll just have to crawl your legs up the wall. Okay. So just see if how that goes. Can you help crawling up the wall there? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you can definitely just get one leg up. Uh, no. One so leg up and laugh. then. I don't know how this is gonna work. You can so do it. Don't don't be so far out. You gotta get further in. Maybe you put your arms like here, like closer in, and I'll literally just lift your leg. Can I take this bracelet off? Yeah. Bro, I can't I don't have the strength for this. You need to work out, girl. I know. Crawl in more? I can't. Bro, I can't. You should see the happen. No, are you serious? You can't hold it like that? You, you, are you sure you can't? Like, no. <laughs> <laughs>